Hey, Jeff Jantz here at Jantzer Studios, and I've just finished up this monkey puppet. It was a commission job. Now, most of the time when I do these commission jobs, I'm signing non-disclosure agreements and I can't share them, but this customer was happy to share, and this puppet will be used in South Lake High School in Virginia to uh, for a show that they're doing. So I wanted to just make a video to show my customer but also share with some of you in case somebody's thinking about building a puppet and just kind of explain some of his features and a little bit maybe about how I made it. Uh, I recorded the whole thing and maybe I'll end up doing a video to show a little bit more of behind the scenes if I have time. So if there's something specific that you wanna know about how I made this puppet, then let me know and I'll see if I can throw something together. All right, so a couple of things. First of all, it's a live hand puppet, and your hand just kind of slides in up under here. I made it so that either hand could be used as the live hand. You just have to untuck this little tuft of fur down here, and then you can switch hands, and then you would tuck this tuft of fur, that one right there, back into the sleeve here. His elbows are pretty flexible. There's a little bit of weight in his elbow, so hopefully his elbow will drop to make it look a little bit more natural. His knees also have a little bit of flex to them too, so you can kind of make him look like he's standing and make it fairly realistic. And he can dance pretty good because there's a lot of flexibility in the upper part of his body, but then the lower half is weighted with some foam. So he can dance pretty good back and forth. He also has a pretty great tail. And one of the cool things about the tail is that it's totally flexible. So I would say that if you want to bend the tail around, what I would do is make sure that you hold it really tight at the base and then you can bend it around. It's got some copper wire in there. And as long as you're holding it tight at the base, it shouldn't mess anything up on the inside. Your hand goes in from the back. There's a little sleeve here, just a short little sleeve. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring you in to show you a little bit closer of what the inside looks like. Okay, so we fold this guy inside out. You can see how his mouth plate operates. There's some loops here with elastic bands in it, so it should fit just about any finger size, and that way you can control the top of the mouth. There's a little curve on the mouth plate from the piece of the rubber that I used, so that fits nice and comfortable on the edges of your finger. And then on the bottom side for your thumb, there's also a loop here, and then I always like to put in a little bit of foam right here, and that just kind of helps hold your thumb in place when you're moving it around. So that works pretty good. The other thing to know is that his arms actually come out. So if you decide later down the road that you want to put clothes on him or if you need to maintenance something, what you do is it's basically like a button. So I made this custom button out of a piece of scrap plastic that I had from the same Rubbermaid tub lid that I made the mouth plate with. And essentially all you would do is if this was the right side out, but it's a little bit easier to see because you can't see the slit with all the fur. But basically what you would do is slide the rope through there, then you can reach in from the back side and pull it through. And then you would just slide this through just like a button and then lay it flat on the inside. And just make sure you got the right arm and the right side. And it's as simple as that. Also, the legs come out too, so if there's some reason that you need to take those out or do something different with the legs, there's going to be holes in the bottom for the legs too. They're a little bit hard to find from the outside, but you should be able to feel around on the inside to put them in. If you do need to maintenance the legs, you'll have to pull the whole piece of foam out that is attached for the bottom half, and the tail is kind of connected to that too. So when you do that, you'll have to fish the tail through a little hole down here where the tail goes through. So that's basically all you really need to know as far as taking the arms and the legs out. And you really shouldn't ever have to flip them inside out, but if you do, you just have to be careful pushing the head through the opening in the back. 